ask you a question. What kind of legacy are you leaving? It's Tiffany, financial coach, helping moms to develop the confidence, clarity, and financial strategy to build long-term success. Now, in this video, I want to talk about the mother of all mothers and the queen of soul, Miss Aretha Franklin. So question, did you get into her, was it nine hours, 10 hour long, home going service yesterday because at this point you can't call that anything but a good old down home spewed home going celebration that they had yesterday i think that i tuned in for maybe about a good four or five hours and i had to get up because it was really intense i was watching it as i worked and then i was going back and forth because they kept going and going and going and going and every time i thought that they were done someone else came up and either said something or were singing now when i look at the program I was like, okay, I know they're not going to end on time. Like, there's no way. They have too many people. And with all these black folks, somebody is going to go over the allotted time, especially when you think about you have real Baptist preachers, real soulful singers, and you get anybody like the Clark singers. They are allotted for four minutes for a song. They're going to turn that four-minute song into a 10, 15-minute song with a ooh in the eyes that they did. Now, they sang, but you already know. So, I have, my cousin gave some good insights for me when I was thinking I was like dang I was on the phone with her at the end I was like this cost this funeral is still going on and she made a good point like you know think about the impact that she had on so many people from her own family to the people who she inspired through music to the people who were just fans of hers the city of Detroit and then I mean internationally like she is a just true global figure and so you have to think about with someone who has had decades upon decades and have so many accolades like everybody in their mom and sister's cousin wants to come and say something and rightfully so because they because she had a big impact on their life and so that kind of brought some perspective to me and that inspired today's video and i really want to ask you what kind of legacy are you leaving when you pass and you go on to the other side and whatever the other side is for you, what are people going to say about you? Does anyone want to come and actually stand up and speak at your homegoing celebration? What kind of impact are you leaving? What kind of legacy are you leaving just for your, your children alone? I know for me, I want to leave a legacy of one wealth for my family. I know that without a shadow of a doubt, I am going to be wealthy. No question asked. I'm not there yet, but I'm working my ass off to get there. And I've been working at it for a while because I know that it's a continuous, continuous journey and a continuous process. But that's what I want to leave for my children. I also want to leave a global impact on the world because I have a mission um, through one of my companies, Ms. CFO, to help 10 million women get to financial freedom. Now, that might not happen in my lifetime. I hope it does, but if it doesn't, I know that my, co my company is going to be the spark that ignites that to happen. And maybe it happens, you know, sometime after I pass. But regardless, is that's my goal and that's the impact. And I want people to say about me that Tiffany inspired me. She, she transformed my life. Um, I took one of her programs, one of her classes, and now my, um, my finances have improved. I can sleep at night. Um, I've gone at, gotten out of debt. Um, I'm building wealth and my investment portfolio has grown tremendously. Like this is what I want people uh, to say about me. I want to say that Tiffany is an amazing friend. She's a great um, you know, supporter. I can sit down and have a conversation with her and she listens and she gives me good insight and she um, cares for me. She loves me. She is there for me. She speaks her truth. So these are some of the things that I know I want um, to have said about me when I'm long gone. And when people still talk about me and the impact that I have, but the question that I have for you is, what is that for you? Have you ever sat down and thought about what that looks like and what you're leaving behind? Most people leave behind debt and stress. Anytime that anybody significant has passed in my life and I had to be there for all of the background mess, it's been stress. It's been fighting over junk like, Who's going to get grandma's car and who's going to get grandma's old costume jewelry and, um, you know, who is going to take care of her funeral expenses? How are we going to pay for this because the insurance is not enough or we don't have insurance? These are the kind of conversations that are common when someone passes and especially 
in the black community. And that is something that, um, sorry about that, my alarm went off. Um, this is something that I know that I want to change, particularly with the women that come in contact with me and my company. So what I would like for you to do, what I want you to take away from this video is really think about what you want your legacy to be. And I know it's hard because people don't want to think about death. But honestly, we're all getting closer to that date the more that we continue to live. And prayerfully so, we will live long, healthy, happy, fruitful lives. But the reality is we are getting closer to that time as we progress and wake up day after day after day. So it's time to get real and figure out what do you want your legacy to be? And are you doing the things right now to move you closer to making that legacy a reality? Or are you just making excuses for yourself? Are you waiting for somebody to come and rescue you? Let me tell you something, sweetheart. No one is going to come and do that. If you want to be the change agent for your life and for your family and for your children and your grandchildren and have your grandchildren have your picture on the wall um, like they do all these great people who have come before us, um, then you need to do what it takes to get there. It's time to start investing in your future and stop making excuses. So, if you are serious about investing in your financial future, I want to invite you to sign up for my Fuck A Budget Workshop. This is going to be taking place on Sunday, I think it's September 15th. Let me check real quickly before I close that. Sunday, September 16th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And don't worry if you can't attend live, you will make sure that you get a replay if you sign up for the workshop. Now. I'm going to show you three of the key things that are, that's going to be taking place on the workshop that you are going to walk away with. One, you're going to, to walk away with a financial system that's going to allow you to take the stress off of managing your money. I get a lot of people who say, Tiffany, I just don't know what, what to do with my money. When I get paid or if I get some money outside of that, like a bonus or just some, you know, some money from my business, if I have a side business, what should I be doing with that money? Okay, it's going to teach you exactly how to do that to be able to hit your financial goals and to make managing money easy and simple for you. Also, it's going to teach you how to remove all of the blocks and the limitations. And that's one of the reasons why I call it fucking a budget, because I believe that there are no limitations for anything that you can have. And the word budget is often really constricting and limiting. When people hear, they're like, oh, I don't want a budget because it's just I can't do this and I can't do that. No, we're not about that. This system is going to allow you and show you what to do exactly with your money so that you can have whatever it is that you want. And it's also going to show you how to increase your income and actually start earning what you deserve. So if that sounds like something that you want to be a part of, then you need to sign up right now. Um, the link is in the comment box below. Now listen, there are only a certain amount of seats that are available for this. And this will be the only time that you'll be able to get this information in the system at this price. I'm doing this as a beta test, so that's what I'm offering up in a group session for a workshop. But um, once I actually fully roll this full system out um, that it comes with, because it's going to be really dope. I'm excited. I'm working with my business coach. And um, it's going to roll out and be something that's really cool. Then it's going to be like a closer to a $2,000 program. So you can get the rest now for only $97. It will be a two to three hour, I'm saying two to three hours because I know that we're gonna go over two hours um, with the information that I have. So make sure you click on the link below. You can find out all the full scope of what's going to be going on there and then make sure that you really act fast um, because this weekend only, I'm actually gonna do um, two bonuses. Um, since it's the Labor Day weekend, I'm going to offer a $20 off discount um, and you can find the coupon code in the comment box below. It will only be available for the Labor Day weekend um, for the sale. And then the other bonus is if you're one of the first 20 people to sign up, then you get a free 45-minute coaching session that the yours truly. So make sure that you, one, sit down, have that conversation with yourself, and figure out what you want your legacy to be and if you're doing the things to actually get you there. And if not, then take some time to meditate on that, write it out, and think about some things that you can start doing now to actually make that legacy a reality for you. And then get your hips on into the Fuck A Budget Workshop. This is something that you are not going to want to miss. Trust and believe. And make sure that you share and tell a friend, listen, do not be the only friend who has her money together. That is so boring. That is not fun. Trust me, I have been there. You're going to want to travel. You're going to want to go out to some nice fancy restaurant. And your girl's going to be like, oh girl, I don't got it. I don't get paid to such and such date. Blah, blah, blah. And that's not any fun, okay? Because 
ain't no fun unless the homies can have some. And I mean, you all have your money in order. So make sure that you share this with your girlfriends, um, any friends. They don't have to be women. Listen, we give love to the male too. I just primarily work with women. So that's where I always talk about women. And I, I speak from a female perspective. But male, female, if you don't identify yourself as a male or female, when everything in between is welcome to the Fuck A Budget Workshop. That's going to be taking place on Sunday, September 16th. And I will see you there. Don't forget, what is your legacy going to be? Talk to you later. Bye.